everyone, Amanda here from Create with Scrimpy Mama. So today I'm going to do a little bit of work on my Mediterranean Moments journal. So this was our Journal Enjoy project for August, which the collection was released in July. I've done a full tutorial on the cover and how to add the signatures, etc. It's really, really lovely. Now, I am going to be decorating this quite minimal. The reason being, I'm going to actually um, take this on my next holiday and I'm going to, fingers crossed, <laughs> as long as I don't get distracted, I'm gonna write in it and fill it with things and then come back and show you um, a journal that's been used um, because I think often we see lovely journals and how to make them and then we don't see them once they've been used. So my idea is when I do my final review, my final, final review, I will have actually used this journal and you can see how you can fill them with memories and I'm going to print out some pictures and collect things on my holiday, etc. So I'm going to be doing very basic um decoration so what i've done today is i've printed two of the journal sheets okay and i've got a video showing you how to do this so i've selected two okay and then printed them so that they're two to a page and then you get the two pages okay i've cut it out and what i'm going to do is and, and this is just on my normal paper i'm going to fold that what would be a journal page over how cute would that be to make a, a miniature journal with little miniature pages <laughs> but that's not what we're doing today uh, so i'm going to glue this shut and that's just going to give me a little bit of strength to this item for what i want to use it for okay basically i'll fold that over give it a good press my table's a little bit um a little bit grungy because i've been doing lots of work um, so yeah, I thought I'd come back after my holiday and show you this journal, you know, written in and full of stuff and when I've got some pictures printed out, I will stick some photos in and you can have a look at how I've used it. Okay, now that would make a, a lovely journal card. Do you know these papers are super versatile? And I'm just going to let that dry while I just quickly cut out the second one. And then I'll show you what we're going to make with them. Okay. Super quick. And the beauty of digitals is that you can print them over and over and over again. They're inexpensive as well. Um, so you can print out and home in on your favourite images and if you make a mistake cutting it, just print another one. You know, whereas with scrapbooking paper, if you've uh, cut it wrong, <laughs> you're going to need to buy another pa another pad. Um, not all scrapbooking papers are expensive, but you know the really lovely ones can be pricey. Okay, and you feel sometimes feel like hoarding them and not using them. Whereas with digitals, because you've got the confidence of knowing that you've got it there forever, forever and ever, amen. You're not scared to use it, you're not scared to cut into it. We've all done it, we've all hoarded papers because we're too scared to cut into them. That's the beauty of digitals, okay, because you can print another. Right, so once that's dry, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fussy cut around these images. Now, when you're fussy cutting, it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? So you just literally, I'm going to leave a small border, okay? And I just move the paper and kind of cut at the same time. It's quite hard to explain. I think fussy cutting... Um, is something that comes with practice okay it comes with practice the more you do it the better you get at it and a uh, worst case scenario you know if it's not fantastic if you add a little bit of distress ink it will hide a multitude of sins okay 
So here we can see I'm just moving the paper around as I kind of squeeze my scissors at the same time. Okay. I'm going to cut that with the small border. I'm just going to cut that off so that I've not got dangly bits getting in my way and making me feel like it's being cumbersome. Right, let me just remind myself where the edge of the building is because it's... Ah, oh, there we are, yeah. Because my um, film light is um, quite strong, it can be hard to see sometimes. Okay, and we've got a little window peeking out there. Let me just go down a little bit further. Okay. And the beauty of the way that I make journals is you could, because the papers are so beautiful, you don't really need to do very much else. You could literally just leave it like that and use it as a journal. But if you like to decorate, and you know, to a lot of us journal makers, the deck, the funds in the decorating, you know, there's loads of ideas, loads. I've been putting videos, uh, ephemera ideas. Now I've been using quite a vintage style collection for that because I want a vintage look, but you can take those ideas and use it with any collection, you know? Um, same with the ideas that I'm using here. You might not like my papers, you might have something that you like. You can take the idea and use what you've got. Okay, so now what I can do is just gently, I'm going to just very gently ink. I might not even catch all of it, it doesn't matter. Okay, very gently ink just to give it a little bit of definition. Okay. And then I'm going to find a blank page and I'm going to use that as a bucket. Let's have a look. Let's find a really blank page. I've not inked any of my pages. I may well take them out and ink the edges. I don't know. I've not decided. Let's have a look. Where have we got a blank page? This is a, here's a blank page. So here's a super blank page that I might want prettying up. Okay. So I can add that and I can just glue it on two sides and I've got myself a little custom tuck so if you see a collection and you think oh there isn't a lot of uh, pockets or tucks or ephemera you know you, you can you can make your own in that way it's unique to you you know and you've not necessarily just got exactly the same as anybody else Okay, and then when that's dry, that is going to make a fantastic tuck. Okay, and you've got this lovely cutout shape here. It'll hold more than one tag, will that? Okay, or, you know, a journaling card. You can stack it. And what I'll do with this one is, once that glue is dry, I'll fussy cut that the same. And I'll add it to another page. So, I've also printed out one of the planar journal sheets and I've printed this on lightweight cardstock and I'm going to fussy cut these corners and then I can use those as well and then they can become tucks so I can either put them on a blank page like I could put one up there or I could overlay on a page I've already printed out so this is the same page so I could fussy cut that and lay it over, over the top and give myself a tuck there Okay, so I'll fussy cut these and then I'll come back. Okay, so here we go. So it's taken me, you know, a few minutes, but I've now got four fussy cut corners. Okay, and you can utilise the paper that you've cut away um, for tags and things like that or collaging or making things strong on the back. So nothing needs to get wasted. So like I say, you can pick uh, one of these journal pages that are similar. You could... Uh, like here I've got two together so you could put one on one corner and one on the other obviously make sure that the images are the same hold on a minute that's not the same one that's the same one and then you've got a tuck there up there and a tuck down there or oh, what I do because those pages are already quite pretty they don't really need anything extra I'd probably pick a page that um, is a little bit plain so let's have a look. 
let's have a look i don't really want to mess about with that one because that's for writing so what i'm quite fancy doing here is where i've got here is putting one up here and then i've got a tuck here and if i want i can slide it in both and then it's almost like a you know a feature so i think that'll look really cool so I'm going to, because I've inked that one, I'm going to ink this one. I'm not inking everything in the book. You don't have to ink everything. You can ink some things and not others. It just depends how you feel. So I'm going to glue that as thin of a bead of glue as I can get away with. And I'm quite heavy handed with glue. And I'm going to stick that not too close to the edge of the spine there because I don't want it to catch you know when I'm folding but I want it flush with the top of the page and then that way I know it's pretty straight ish okay it doesn't matter if it's not perfect all right so then like I say you can use that as a slide tuck there okay or what you know it looks interesting you could have something there and something there tell you what would look really beautiful if you made a um, printed one of the background pages, okay, for example, maybe this one on vellum, made it into an envelope and then slipped it in there, that would look super pretty, okay. But for now, I'm going to have that. So we've got the door, we, uh, you know, the house building with the door, we've got the balcony there and there we've got the ocean view through the window so i think that looks lovely and that just holds that tag nicely okay and then let's go to the second signature and put one in there how many signatures have i got two so let's find somewhere where we can use some more of these corners that i've made they'd also be great for decorating if you want to add them to your cover or anything like that don't think there's anywhere to put them in mine. Let's have a look where we could put them. Let's have a look. See, the papers are so beautiful already. I'm struggling of where to um, add decoration because the papers are so gorgeous. They don't need anything. Um, have I got another plain page? I might need to put some more plain pages in because I've put a lot of decorated pages in this one. That's upside down. Where's the, where's the rest of it? That is upside down. Yeah, that's upside down. That needs changing. Let me take that out. And turn it the right way. I might need to change that page around because now I've got two pages the same in one signature. But see the beauty of the Madari binding. You can just slide your pages in and out. I've accidentally put two pages the same in the same signature so that needs moving but i can move it because they're not sewn in if i'd sewn them in i'd be like oh no my journal's ruined well it's not okay these papers are so gorgeous i don't know where to put them <laughs> so i'm going to um put one here and match it up let me find the one that's the same there we go, and match it up and give myself a little tuck on there to make that kind of image a little bit 3D. Yeah. Okay. But you get my drift. I will probably put, and what I'll also do is I'll keep some to one side because I may well, you know, when I've when I'm filling my journal, if I don't have enough room, I might put some more pages in. So I might need some more decoration. Um, so I'll keep some items to one side. I'll just move that up a bit so that it matches. And then now there I've got, when that glue's dry, another tuck spot. Okay. And I could even put one at the top and again the same. Oh, let me find one that matches. Does that match? Yeah so that it's holding in both ways. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a bit of glue there and a bit of glue on there. And then if I 
lay that over the top of that one like so i've just got the one page there yeah i have lay it over the top like so it doesn't matter if it doesn't match up perfect okay it doesn't matter and then with these larger tags or larger photo mats you can slide them in there and you've got this cutaway scalloped look it just i think it just looks lovely um so yeah so there's a few quick ideas for today like i say i will be continuing to work on this um but i may not show a final review until you know the beginning of september when i've been on holiday and i've filled it so there's a couple of ideas for you to um to put something in there don't we I need to do some more work on this and then I will show you in the final review. But just remember that, you know, you don't have to use the images exactly as they come. You can fussy cut. You could just cut out just the oranges, just cut out just the teapot on the oranges. You can home in on whatever you like, okay? I might even just cut out those little oranges there away from all of the teapot because I can print this image as many times as I want. And that would give me a little embellishment that I could, uh, you know, maybe stick on the corner of there. So just have a look at your images. See where you could fussy cut and what you could do with them. Don't just take them as they come. You, I do the design work. You have to add the, in, the, the ideas and your individuality. Okay? So have a look at things and see if you can see them in a different way. It will help you decorate your journal. So I'll be back with this um, probably, as I say, at the beginning of September. In between then, you will I will be starting my next journal. The, I haven't forgotten about this. I've just put it to one side on purpose because I'm going to be taking it on holiday. Okay, so don't think I'm not behind with it. I'm not um, not finishing it. I'm not overlooking it. It's purposely being put on the back burner because I'm going to be doing it whilst I'm on holiday. So keep your eyes open for the final review on this journal and hopefully you're having fun creating yours. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.